Right now, officials air, uh, at airlines still looking to get back on track after a massive FAA system outage. The agency says their preliminary investigation shows damaged database files are to blame. These are live pictures right now from Charlotte Douglas this morning, where you can see folks busy out on the tarmac. We're already seeing a handful of delays and cancellations already at 507. The outage affecting flights from coast to coast. Now the government working to strengthen the country's aviation infrastructure. Wake Up Charlotte's Bree Jackson has the latest from Washington. Ben, the FAA says it was not a cyber attack, but a corrupt file that caused the nationwide ground stop. And now federal leaders are demanding answers. Another day of frustration for flyers. A little irritated, honestly, a little irritated. Well, actually very irritated, but what can you do? The Federal Aviation Administration is blaming the nationwide delays and cancellations Wednesday on a computer outage, saying a corrupt file crippled its notice to air missions system or NOTAM. I just worry that um, just one system or two systems had the ability to shut everything down. Federal officials are investigating why both the primary and the backup systems, which provide pilots vital information they need to fly, failed. This is the one that moves messages that uh, pilots need on anything from a taxiway or a runway being out uh, to an issue with a navigation beacon to maybe an upcoming military or space operation in a certain sector. Transportation Secretary Pete Buttigieg says his agency is focused on figuring out what went wrong. We need to understand why with uh, all of that redundancy, it still rose to the level uh, that there had to be a ground stop. Lawmakers want answers too, as Congress prepares to reauthorize FAA legislation. Money has been thrown at the problem and the problem seems to get worse. Here's what we need for technology and software upgrades so that uh, we minimize the chances that the system does this again. Uh, that's going to take funding. The FAA says it's working to prevent disruptions like this from happening again.